Even though the question doesn't give you a triangle, you know what? There's going to be a triangle. And what kind of triangle is it going to be? A right angle triangle. Excellent. Yeah, I know. You too, right? So I get a lot of, oh, Mr. Mars, I just don't know what to do when I don't have the triangle. Well, get yourself the triangle. How? Whoo! That was difficult. Because does it matter what the triangle looks like? No. no, because that triangle has two thetas, opposites, and adjacents. So you can do trig with it, yeah? Yeah. So if all of you could open to page 6, we can get going. 6 what? 63, apparently. I didn't know, so that's why I did that. So... I don't know if you guys heard about this, but are you familiar with the dead recording artist Amy Winehouse? Winehouse. The, the ironic name because she ended up drinking herself to death. She sings the song, They Tried to Make Me Go to Rehab. I Won't Go, Go, Go. Pretty much. Um, she's quite famous. She had one album, two albums, won a bunch of awards. Everybody thought she was going to be like the greatest thing ever, and then she drank until she died. Um, no, but Edgar Allan Poe was actually talented, so there's a difference. Um, I'm not a fan of Amy Winehouse, as you can tell, um, but that's neither here nor there. The, the reason I bring it up is because I just heard on the radio this morning, I know, I still listen to the radio, how old am I, right? Like, the radio, oh my god. So I was listening to the radio this morning, and I'm just kidding, Ganika. Millions of people listen to the radio. It's just a joke, right? But snooty tech people are always like, oh, you still listen to the radio? How quaint. It's like watching TV on, like, regular TV, not streaming it or pirating it. cable? Yeah, cable. But I don't have cable. I have a satellite dish. But anyway, I digress. Allow me to stop digressing. <coughs> Amy Winehouse has been dead for about three, four years. And there is a group of people that are planning on taking Amy Winehouse on tour. Now, since Amy Winehouse is dead, this will be difficult to do. So what they're going to do is they're going to take a live band to play Amy Winehouse's song. They're going to play her singing her songs from back in the day when she was alive. And they are going to project a hologram of Amy Winehouse onto the stage. Kind of like a few years ago at the Billboard Music Awards when Michael Jackson moonwalked across the stage, even though he was, of course, dead. Um, I don't know why uh, Michael Jackson, also like uh, Amy Winehouse, has become so revered in death. Um, but for some strange reason, dying young seems to negate your poor behavior throughout life. I don't really understand that, but we do. I mean, everybody knows Michael Jackson had some problems with young boys, but he died, and now all of a sudden he's a frickin' hero. I don't really get that, but that's just me. Amy Winehouse died. Everyone thinks she's a hero. Eh. But that's just me. Anyways... The question being today for Friday, not a math question, would you pay concert prices? And some of you don't know how much concerts cost. If you do not know how much a concert costs, let me tell you. A concert for a band you have never, ever heard of in a club that only holds 1,000 people, so that's a small club, costs about $55. A concert in a big venue like Rogers Arena for decent seats, at least... $150 per seat. That's why I said at least $150 per seat, Jasmine. 200 would be more than 150 so therefore 150 was okay because I said at least. At any rate, how many of you would pay to go see? Now let me, let me choose an artist that you might care about uh, that is dead and uh, you would like. Tupac. I refuse to call him Tupac. 
I refuse. He is too packed. Or the notorious fatso. Would any of you pay to see those people as a hologram? I'm just wondering. Because you are the people this is aimed at. Grown-ups usually don't have the disposable income needed to see a movie, essentially, for $50. But you guys do. I know that. I agree with you. I am wondering if any of you would pay to go. None of you? Not even if it was somebody that you did? Because when I said Amy Winehouse, you're all like, hair? But you all know who Tupac and Notorious Fatso are. So... You, you wouldn't go? You wouldn't pay to see a projection? I'm, I know I wouldn't either. I'm just wondering if you would. Because again, you are the people that paid to go see Paul Blart Mall Cop as well. You will throw your money away like it doesn't even exist. You will light campfires with $20 bills. Because that's what you might as well have done. Then at least you would have been warm instead of seeing Paul Blart Mall Cop. No, it's not. At any rate, I'm not getting into an argument on the lack, complete lack of merit of Paul Blart Mall Cop, because there isn't one thing good about it. But since you are the people that went to see that movie and spent $20 billion seeing that piece of crap, I, you must be the people that would go and pay to see a pretend concert. But you won't? Pardon me? Well, a great many of the bands that you people do enjoy don't actually play live concerts. They are lip syncing and pretending. Right? So let's, let's remember that a lot of the concerts you may pay to go see are the only thing that isn't fake about them is the fact the person is actually on stage. So I think a hologram isn't that much different. Is it? Is it? And when you put it that way, when you remind you that all the music you guys like is faked anyway, and nobody sounds like the people, the singers you listen to actually sound like, because they're all using auto-tune, every single one of them. So let me ask again, will you go see a hologram? No, but you'll go see any other band doing their own stuff fake. Okay, just making sure, just wondering. That's your discussion topic for later when I say do some work and you won't do any work. You can talk about this stuff. Then you won't have to have that awkward silence where you're like, I don't want to do math. I don't want to do math either. What should we talk about? I don't know. Now you have something to talk about. It's my gift to you. I know, right? Okay. So... Mm -hmm. So, uh, number nine. Can we do this question? Of course we can. Except, what do we need? A triangle. A triangle. Does it matter what it looks like? No. no. So I'm going to draw my triangle like that. Is that 90 degrees? Of course not. But I'm making it 90 degrees because this is a representation of what I am doing. Now, what is the difficult thing here? Is it Sokotoa? No, of course not. Sokotoa has nothing to do with it. A monkey can learn Sokotoa. It's only three things. But applying Sokotoa is difficult. Read the question. Ike is standing on the soccer field and looks at the roof of the school with an angle of elevation of 30. That actually proves to me you know something about trig. Where is the only angle of elevation in this triangle? On the left, on the right, or at the top? On the left, here is your 30. Ike is standing 42 meters away from the base of the school. Now, a great many of you, believe it or not, not you guys, because you're smart, but a great many of my students will put that 42 here. Because Ike is standing 42 meters away from the school. That's just silly, isn't it? Because he's 42 meters away from the base of the school. 42 is there. Then the next mistake they make is they say, how tall is the school? Okay, I'm looking for that. Because of course you measure height 
by going way over there and putting, nailing a string in by the door and then running that string up to the top of my head and measuring the string, right? Right. So, of course, this is what it looks like. And believe it or not, if this is shown to you without that triangle, a great many of your peers say they cannot do it. Is there any reason to say you cannot do that? Of course not. So do it. Of course, you have a theta of 30. You have an adjacent of 42. And you need an opposite of x. Once again, there is no way to do it wrong. Because, of course, it is so ka toa. And you can quite plainly see that oa, oa. Can I get an oa? See? See what I did there? <laughs> like in the movies? When Marines go, can I get a hoo Right? And Canada doesn't have Marines. So, of course, what uses OWA? Tan. Theta equals O over A. Tan 30 equals X over 42. 42 tan 30. Now, please notice, when I am doing these notes, do I ever not write that? No, I don't ever not write that. That was like a triple negative. I always write that. Why? If you left that there, but your calculator was in a bad mode, and you got a silly answer, like the school is three meters tall, most of you, I would like to think, would not write a nonsensical answer like that. But some of you will, because my calculator said so. But if you write this, and then a nonsensical answer, can I give you one and a half out of two? Yes, I can, can't I? Because I know you know how to do trig. The only thing you don't know is how to make an, write an answer that makes sense if your calculator gives you a piece of garbage, right? So I am stressing, again, for at least conservatively the 10,000th time. Write down what you're doing. It literally takes half a second of time. Even if I gave you a 500 question test, half a second would be 250 seconds. It would only add four minutes to your entire test to do that. Understand? Please do it. I do not care how intelligent you are. I do not care how much you think you know. Show me what you are doing. Because, I know you don't think it, but when you get later into math, because I trust most of you are planning on some kind of post-secondary education, they don't care about the next line. Because the next line is going to be an ugly answer, isn't it? It's going to be a whole crap ton of decimals, right? They care about that line. Okay, so get used to it. Everybody understand? Sweet. All right, let's do the next one. Oh, the next one is so difficult. People have so much trouble with it, I don't understand. So, I need what? A triangle, right? Now, I said you can always draw the same triangle. So if I draw that now, I'm going to go to my question. Abby's flying in an airplane. Where's the airplane? In the sky. Up in the sky. Where's up in the sky? Right up here. Here's Abby in her airplane. Brrr. 
How far away? Horizontally. Where is horizontally? The flat one. Is the town of Mission. Here's Mission. Is Mission a town up in the sky? No, of course not. This is not the year 2315. This is the year 2018. And all of our cities are where? On the ground. This is not Cloud City from Star Wars. This is not the apartment buildings in the Jetsons. This is not the Arium from Altered Carbon. This is not Elysium from the great movie Elysium. I am running out of things where we have built stuff in the sky. Oh, this is not the uh, city from the movie Astro Boy, which was very good. I thoroughly enjoyed it, except Nicolas Cage was one of the voices. I don't like Nicolas Cage. Hmm? That's ironic. Actually, I shouldn't say that. Nicolas Cage might be a very intelligent man. He just comes across as not very intelligent because of the movies he makes. But then you forget, he's got an Oscar. He won an Oscar for leaving Las Vegas, which was an unremittingly sad movie. If you are in any way not feeling 1,000% happy, don't risk watching Leaving Las Vegas if you haven't seen it already. Because if you don't have the, the, the armor of 1,000% happiness, you will be destroyed by that film. Okay. Um, anyways, so Abby is here. Now, here's the problem. Abby sees Mission at an angle of depression of 15. Oh, no. Have I drawn an angle of depression? Yeah. No. I haven't. Because angles of depression and angles of elevation must be measured from a horizontal, yes? Angles of elevation go where from a horizontal? Angles of elevation... Up, excellent. Angles of depression go where from a horizontal? Down. down. Do you have a horizontal with an angle that goes down? The way we've drawn this? No. Now, if I did this... Now do I have an angle of depression? Where is it? Above the red hypotenuse or below the red hypotenuse? Above. Above. Here is your angle of depression. Right? But what do you know about that angle of depression and this angle of elevation? They're the same. So could you still do this question with the red triangle? Yes, you just have to remember that the angle of elevation is the same as the angle of depression. Now, uh, the airplane is 2,500 feet in the air. So, my angle of depression is 15. So, if I actually use an angle of depression, it's there. But if I use the original triangle I drew, it's there. Right? Does anything else change? No, because I'm still seeking the horizontal distance. So there is where my X is. Do I have a theta still? What is it? 15. What else do I have? He waited patiently. You have an opposite of 2,500, and I have an adjacent of X. Oh, uh, what is it? 10, fitting, equals opposite, 2,500, over adjacent, X. X equals 2,500 divided by 10, 15. And we are going to show that, because that's trig. The next thing you're going to do is not trig. The next thing you're going to do is calculator work. This, is, this unit... Right there is called trig. It is not called calculator. Right? That's what you need to know. The calculator is what you need to do. Everyone understands the difference, yes? Okay, number 11 is my favorite. Do I need a triangle? Yes, excellent. So, what should it look like? 
Can we draw the same triangle? We always can, can't we? Ah! Everybody happy? Can you put any numbers on that triangle right now? Read the question. All right. I'm sorry, what? You can put 300 on top, right here. 300. Okay, what else? Because he's right, you could put 300 there, but what do you need to do trig? You need two sides or an angle on a side, right? What does the 300 give me? Only one side. So yes, 300 would go there, Arsh, you're absolutely right, but that doesn't help us yet, does it? Catherine, can you help us? So the 300 would be there, but um, it's one meter for every 19 meters measured along the road, and we have 300 meters. So you do 300 divided by 19, and that gives you 15.78, and that would go on the road. Nicely done. Not what I was looking for, but is what you're doing. What I was looking for was this. The road rises one meter. Where's the rise? One. For every 19 meters along the road. Where's the road? The road is the hypotenuse. Right? The road up a mountain. We do not drive our car through the mountain to some elevator and go up there, do we? No. Unless, of course, you have been on the Atlantis ride at SeaWorld in San Diego, where you do indeed drive into a tunnel and then go up an elevator. It's my favorite ride. Oh, is that the one where it's, it has like, the like, towers? Yeah. Oh. It's my favorite ride. And it's like a wet ride. Yeah. Okay. It's like a roller coaster and a log ride all mixed into one. Okay. I like it's that. awesome. Jurassic Park was cool, too. Jurassic Park was the best one. Right? Mm-mm. I was in the third row and I was so wet. Uh, Jurassic Park was, but Jurassic Park was better than Harry Potter. Harry Potter makes me sick. Those fake rides make me sick. I didn't like the Minions one when I was three hours. We didn't have to wait that long. No, the Transformers one made me sick because it's one of those fake rides, right? I don't like those fake oh, rides. No. The Mummy was cool, though. I like the Mummy. We're talking about Universal Studios. We're talking about rides in general. All of Southern California is just one giant amusement park. The only reason anything in Southern California exists is so you can get food and find a place to sleep between amusement parks. All right. Uh, So that's what I was going for. And then, of course, we know that this is 300 now, yes? So we know that something, if we do a ratio of 1 to 19 opposite to hypotenuse excuse me, then we also know that X over 300, correct? Everyone agree? And then we do what Catherine says. And then we could find the rise here. Unfortunately, what does the question want? The horizontal distance. So I actually need down here, don't I? Can I figure that out? Yeah, because if I know 1 and 19, I can figure it out, can't I? 1 and 19 will give me this bottom number, how? Pythagoras. Or? I could find the angle using shift sign and then use trig to find the bottom, yes? Which one helps me on the second triangle more? Or is it equal? If I use Pythagoras, then I got to do this to find the long, the horizontal, yes? If I find theta, then I can use theta and 300 to find it, can't I? Does it matter which way you do this? Great, do it, one or the other, and then tell me your answer. I, of course, will be doing both. Huh? Yep. Uh, That's a backwards one. That's a forwards one. Did you find any 
any extra calculators in here? Yeah. Nope. Is everybody done? Is everybody done? How many people use Pythagoras and similar triangles? One, two, three, four, five. How many? Six, seven, eight, nine, four. How many people used sine and cos? One, two, three. You put your hand up for both. Oh, all right. And what's your answer? Too late, it came up. Two ninety nine point six. Now, some of you, because we have had this argument all year, will say, "Well, shouldn't I round that to three hundred? No, you shouldn't. Why? Because that would mean it was the same as the hypotenuse, and that cannot be the case. It has to be shorter." Okay, is everybody cool? Which problem? Where is your problem? You did the trig one? Okay, so to do the trig one, Suhani, you know that the sine of 1 over 19 shifted will get me the theta, yes? Okay, and in the big triangle, I have y and 300, don't I? And I need y, yes? And I know theta is 3, yes? So, cos theta equals adjacent y over 300. 300 cos 3 equals y. Now, of course, I didn't use 3 because the answer isn't 3, is it? The answer is 3.01 something, something, something. So I left that on my calculator. Why did I leave it on my calculator? Because I am doing a real life thing and I need the most exact answer possible. And if you round off halfway through your problem, you're not going to get the exact answer, right? And how many times have I told you guys to keep the number on your calculator? Lots. Lots. How many times have I showed you how to use the answer key? Lots, Lots. right? Let's pretend you're no good at using the answer key. Then you better save a few decimals to make sure. Everybody cool? Huh? So everybody's okay with this now? Everybody knows what we did? Everybody understands this similar triangle thing from like grade 9 and 8? You all understand why I left this as root 360? Because that's a lot easier to write than 18.998572345, right? Yo. Oh, okay. Well, you have to compare the two, don't you? Right? You have to make a ratio. So the hypotenuse of the big one is 300, which compares to 19 on the little one. Right? The big one is Y, 
which compares to x on the little one. And x I already found was root 360. So I compare it there, and then I just do algebra. Right? OK. Everybody cool? Yeah, 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 said the Volkswagen commercial, which is not my favorite commercial anymore. My favorite commercial now is the IKEA commercial with the lamp. Have you seen that one? The lamps in the rain and some little girl, the guy puts it on the curb because people are too lazy to take their garbage to the garbage. They put it on the curb. A lamp is one thing. That's easy to pick up and bring home. I have picked up a desk on the side of the road and brought it home for my kid to do homework on. What bothers me is the refrigerators or the couch. The people who put their couch out in the rain. Oh, somebody will come and take it. No, they won't. Take it to the dump and pay $5. Anyways, there's a lamp on the street and it's raining and a girl, little girl comes and picks up the lamp and then they show the little girl doing all this stuff in the house with the lamp, making shadow puppets, doing homework, reading with her mom, all this stuff. And then the Swedish sounding Ikea guy comes on the screen and you never actually see that guy. It's always his voice. He's, Many of you feel happy for this lamp. That is not crazy. Reusing things is better. And you're like, awesome. Because of course, Ikea is the king of disposable crap not true high-end ikea stuff is very good but nobody buys the high-end ikea stuff everybody buys the disposable crap and then throws it away but ikea would like you to believe that they're a conscious forward-thinking organization (coughs) next how do i determine the area of a triangle I need length and width. So that's W, that's L. How do I find them? Trig. Do I have a theta? What is it? What else do I have? An hypotenuse of 12.7. What's opposite? W. What's adjacent? L. What other letter could I use instead of W here? I wouldn't use H because I'm using H for hypotenuse. What other letter could I use over there? Lil Z. Z. Because, of course, we're in Canada. What other letter could I use right here? Lil X. If I was labeling them properly. And then it's super easy, isn't it? Now, wait. You are not allowed to touch your calculator until you're ready to give me an answer. So you have to write this all out without going to your calculator. Go. Right, Sean? Right. All right, all right, all right, said Matthew McConaughey in every movie ever. So when did I want you in all these lines, line one, two, three, four, when did I want you to touch your calculator? Four. Four. I want you to be able to get to there without using a calculator. And then you go to your calculator and you do 12 times cos 21 times 12.7 times sun 21 equals. Or you can put brackets around it, doesn't matter. And what's your answer? One sec, 21, coast. What's your answer? 
54.7. What else? What else? Everybody got that? No way. There's somebody. Always happens. It's not different calculators. It's not different calculators at all. Anybody got another answer? Going once? Going twice? Going thrice? The answer is 53.9. Now, Brendan, do you lose any marks for 54.7? If all this is visible to me. You have 54.7, we had 53.9. We are off by 0.8. Would I give you full marks? Excellent. Now, can you take a guess as to how you got 54.7? when various other people, including myself, got 53.9. I'm not putting you on the spot. I just want to know if you can fathom how that might have happened. Because it is not different calculators. All calculators do the same thing. 5 plus 7 is 12 on every single calculator. So, what could have happened? Just something wrong and you're punching in, yeah? And what is this class for? Is this class for math or is this class for calculators? Math. So, Brendan, do I see that on your paper somewhere? So what do you get? Full marks. Now, I don't know how you got 54.7. Preston. Well, that's what you should have done. No. Okay. So everyone's cool? All right. Next question. I want you to do this question exactly the same way. You cannot touch your calculator till the end. I want to know side MN right there. Decide what you need to do that. Label the triangle appropriately and write out your calculations. When you feel you are done, have a look. Now notice I did it all in my head, yes? Right? Is there anything wrong with that? One sec, Arsh. Is there anything wrong with going straight to this? Yes or no? Why am I able to go straight to this? Practice, 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 practice. Okay, Arsh. Arsh, I can't hear a word you're saying. I'm old. Look at how gray my hair is. You must speak. <sighs> Whatever. Okay. Okay. 
Some of you may have felt more comfortable having theta equals 33, hypotenuse equals 8.2, and adjacent equaling x. You may have wanted that. And then that should lead you to there, right? Now, once you know what x is, this is that value, yes? So in the second triangle, I had theta of 49, hypotenuse of x, and I needed the opposite, which was L. I know that x is that, right? Oh, I see what Arsh is asking me. Thank you. Now, why did you not say that out loud? So, it is opposite over hypotenuse. That was the hypotenuse. It should have been 8.2. This should have been reversed. L over 8.2 cos 33. So, L equaled 8.2 cos 33 times sine 49. Now, if I had left my work the other way and punched it into a calculator, would it have given me a sensible answer? Would it have? No, it wouldn't have. So would I have caught my mistake? Hopefully. I stopped there. Now, this will give me a sensible answer. And how do I punch that in? Depends on your calculator. Go ahead and do so. <coughs> Who has an answer for me? 5.2. Now, if I had done my stupid thing, my mistake, which was... Uh, I would have gotten 9.1, which would not have been possible. Why? Because that would, X is shorter than that. Everybody cool? All right. 14. Go. Again, try to do it without your calculator. Try to write it all out. Because my brain is a little fuzzy today, I'm actually going to write it out. What is my adjacent in the blue theta? What do I have to do to that 55? Divide by 2. in red. Are we happy? How tall is blue tree? How, how tall? I thought I heard somebody say the answer to the blue tree. 
18.5. How tall is Red Tree? Fifteen point two. Fifteen causes trouble for people because they cannot read that notation, even though I've gone over it a million times. What does that notation mean? So it goes G to H and H to J. So the angle that I want is where? It is all the way across there. Does everybody understand? Okay. Can you figure that out? This is a really tough question, actually. That's what I said. GHJ. It is as if this line was not there. But you cannot solve it without that line being there. <laughs> you should all have a strategy for dealing with this. It is very similar to a strategy you might have used to deal with the 3D box that was the end of your, the last question after your quiz a couple of days ago. I would recommend this. This is a really hard question. That is why I'm not saying you have to do it all without your calculator. You're welcome to use it at any point. Please, please, please work together if you hit a bump in your own thought process. Because this is not easy. Thing I just said. And in blue, 4 plus 45 root, close brackets, divided by 6, shift tan, is also 60.73. Now, again, in math class, does it matter? Uh, two hundredths of a degree. Does it matter in math class? Does it matter over the course of six centimeters? Would it matter? Would it matter over the course of six yes. centimeters? Yes. Six centimeters? It would matter over this much? Would it matter over the course of six trillion kilometers? Yes. yes. If I was trying to send the rocket ship to Pluto, does that bit of degree matter? Yes. Yes. All right, it is 9.06. That gives you 24 minutes. I want you to do 16 through 20. Now, there are some weird words in there that you may not know what they mean. How do you solve that problem? How do you solve that problem? Because what class is this, math or English? Math. So, if you know how to do the math, is it perfectly legitimate to ask questions about what the words mean? Yeah, especially if it's something that you do not know. Right? A bunch of you are not going to know what a guy wire is. You are going to know as soon as you see it drawn, but right now you don't know what they're called. A great many of you, yes? Okay. Okay. How many of you have seen? That's why this is a bad question, because kids get stuck on the word they don't know. 
You know one of those words, yes? Which one? You know what a wire is, right? You know a guy wire isn't a wire with testicles, right? It, wires don't have testicles, so it must not be guy. But you also know what a tower looks like, yes? You have all seen a tower. We live in a place of towers. There's a tower. Right? Right? What happens when it gets windy? The tower moves around. Do we want our towers moving around? No. So how do we stop them from moving around? Using wires, which you now know are properly called guy wires. And you have seen them everywhere. If we could see uh, a decent-sized telephone pole, you would see one. You've all seen that. The telephone pole and then the one wire down to the ground. You've all seen it. These are guy wires. Uh, Just let me check a couple of other things. Nothing weird there. Oh, we all remember what it means to be an isosceles triangle, yes? Grade 8 math, isosceles triangle, yes? It means two things. Hey, Mr. Como, it means these sides are the same, and it also means something else. What is the other thing it means? If these sides are the same and this is shared, what do you know about those? Excellent. So we know what an isosceles triangle is. Again, not a great question if you don't know what an isosceles triangle is. Do, is it? These are questions that I took from old exams. Right? It's fine if you remind people what that is. But what am I trying to test you on here? Trig or vocabulary? Trig. Trig. So I got to remind you of the vocabulary, yes? Will anybody in the real world remind you of the vocabulary? No. Uh, And number 19 has no vocabulary, and number 20 has no vocabulary. All right, there you go.